What's up everyone, Chuck Bailey with The Bass Channel here and today we are talking about the Tim Comerford Signature Stingray from Ernie Ball Music Man. Let's go. Guys, everyone knows who Tim Comerford is, right? Rage Against the Machine, Audio Slave, Prophets of Rage. You know that low end, it's recognizable. And a big part of why that tone is recognizable is because of this bass. Ernie Ball and Tim Comerford came together, meeting of the minds, and they made this for us, for you, to capture that iconic Stingray tone and everything that Tim Comerford is able to put into his music a weapon of low end that is going to be available finally for you and I. Let's get into this space. Tim Comerford's signature Stingray from Ernie Ball Music Man comes with a wide array of bells and whistles. From its custom numbered neck plate to its classic logo on the headstock, this particular model comes with a height adjustable custom finger ramp. Music Man matte black hardened steel bridge plate with the classic stainless steel saddles and this bass comes with adjustable mute pads at the bridge. It's a string through body, and the pickup cover comes with a contoured thumb rest. It's an ash body with stainless steel frets and has a series parallel single rotary switch, volume with passive boost and tone, and it comes in a natural gloss. It's a roasted maple neck with an ebony fretboard and comes with matte black hardware.
this particular Stingray model that we were sent is the full scale passive. It also comes in full scale active, short scale active, and short scale passive. You have four options to choose from. That about wraps it up, guys. I, I don't know about you, but this is something that my teenage self has been waiting for for the last 20 or 30 years. Rage Against the Machine was kind of the, uh, the door that opened me to like the music that I wanted to play. Uh, Tim Comerford was kind of my base muse. Uh, I didn't have Jocko, I didn't have uh, uh, Stanley Clark or any of those guys. I, I respect those guys, but Tim Comerford was my Jocko, right? I loved his tone, I loved his energy, I loved his stage presence, I loved what he what he stood for. You know, that weapon of low end that he mentioned in his interview on the Ernie Bowl website, that's exactly what he always brought to the table, this huge energy behind that bass. Those four strings, those distortions, everything that he encompassed was Rage Against the Machine. This bass gets me absolutely giddy with excitement because it's the closest I've ever come to feeling that energy that I would grow up and like love. Tell me what you guys thought in the comments. Did you did you love the way the bass sounds? Is it everything you thought it would be? Are you excited to try the other models or look at the other models that they're gonna be releasing, the short scales and the active basses too? This passive bass sounds incredible. They knocked it out of the park. Uh, I, I really hope you guys enjoy this. I enjoyed making it. It was truly an honor. Thank you to Ernie Ball and all the guys down there, the staff. We appreciate you guys. Thank you to everybody that watched the video. We love your comments. We love your feedback. Hit the notification so you can see all the other videos that come through. Make sure you like and subscribe and, and check out our Patreon page. It's very, very affordable and uh, it'll give you all kinds of behind the scenes content for all the other gear that we've covered, including stuff that's upcoming. This is Chuck Bailey from the Bass Channel. Thank you again, Ernie Ball. Thank you again to all of our Bass Channel fans. We'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.